Hello friends, I think you watched the previous video that is uh, part 3 video. In that video you have sum of two two digit numbers. So in the present video you are going to learn about sum of three digit numbers. It may be your three, two three digit numbers or some other numbers. After that I will give you sum of large numbers. So I will give you explain with examples once you go through the examples. After that I will give you exercise you can practice those examples. Here we have two examples. First example is 344 plus 553. So this example is related to non-carry numbers. So already you know what is carry number and non-carry number before going to every exercise and every example. Once check the carry numbers and non-carry numbers. And the second example is related to carry numbers. That is 464 plus 358. Now I'm going to add these two numbers by using Vedic math. First one is 344 plus 553. So if you observe the numbers, when you will add these digits, you will get non-carry numbers. We know that if you want to solve any sum, sum of or even difference also of two numbers by using Vedic math. Now we will add from left to right. First I am adding 3 plus 5. It's 8. Okay. It's non-carry number. Before you write the number 8, you have to keep that number 8 in mind and go for the next addition. 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 is carry number or non-carry number? Yes, it is non-carry number. So 3 plus 5 is 8. Now we can write directly 8 because the sum of next to two digits also. So sum of next to two digits also non-carry number. Then you can write directly that number. Even coming to the next one. When you want to uh, add these two and write the number 4 plus 5 we know that it's 9. So before writing 9 here you need to check the next two digits that is 4 and 3. We know that 4 plus 3 is 7. It's a non-carry number. So directly can write it uh, 4 plus 5 is 9 and 4 plus 3 is uh, 7. The sum is uh, 897. In this example you have only non-carry number that's why we got directly without uh, adding any digit to the sum we have written now coming to the second example that is 464 plus 358 i'm taking the two numbers 464 and 358 i'm taking these two numbers so sum also two three digit number okay and also here you will get the carry numbers see that how to add two three digit numbers where you have the carry numbers. Now first I am taking 4 plus 3 is 7. Directly I am not writing 7. I am keeping in mind. Because we have done so many ex examples. right? Now we understand how to add the two numbers. When you are adding 4 plus 3 we know 7. That keep in mind. So before you write the 7 here. Once you check the next two digits. 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5 is what? Carry number or non-carry number? It is a carry number. 6 plus 5 gives 1 in the units place. Right? And generally we will say that uh, 6 plus 5 is 11, no? So here we will instead of saying 11, we will say that 6 plus 5 is a carry number and the unit digit is 1. 4 plus 3, already we got 7. Now if you want to add uh, this 1 carry number, you will get directly 8. We will not write 7 here. Instead of 7, we will write directly 8. So 4 plus 3 is 7 plus this carry number is 8. Now what is the unit digit of these two? 6 and 5. It's a 1, right? So 1 you can keep in mind. Now come to these two numbers. 8 plus 4. Again it is a carry number, right? So when you are take, uh, getting here, even here, carry number, you need to keep um, the previous number, digit, unit digit in mind and add 1 to that. So 6 plus 5 carry number is 1. Now I am adding 1 to that. So you will get 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. What is the unit digit of these two? 8 and 4. It's 2 again. So that you are getting now 822. Now these two are the examples where you have the sum of two three digit numbers is also a three digit number. Next I will give you one more example whose sum is sum of two three digit number whose sum is four digit number. Let us see that example after that I will give you some questions for practice. This example 3 here we have two numbers in previous example sum of two three digit numbers is also a three digit number. Now I am going with the sum of two three digit numbers is a four digit number. I have taken this here, uh, here 
843 and 386. These are the two numbers. 843 and 386. Now see what will happen if you we'll add these two. So when you are adding the numbers which are carry in the first digit. First digit is the carry number. 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is uh, it's a carry number. 1 in the unit space and also carry number. The carry number I am writing directly 1. one. Okay. Now keep 1 in mind. 4 plus 8. 8 plus 4 is what? Here 8 plus 4 is uh, uh, carry number and the carry number unit digit is 2 and already we have 1. It's carry number so 1 plus 1 is 2. Understood why I have written uh, this 2? Not this is this 2 is not the units place of 8 plus 4. Already we have after adding this 8 plus 3 we got 1 in the units place and again here this is carry number. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Now after adding this 4 and 8 we are getting 2 in the unit space. That 2 we will decide by after adding the 3 and 6. First we will add 3 and 6. Based on the carry and non-carry number, we will write the one more digit. So, 8 plus 4, we got 2 in the units place. Now, the 2 is depends on this. 6 plus 3 is carry number or non-carry number? Yes, it is non-carry number. That's why I am writing directly 2 as it is. Because it is not a carry number. So, no need to add to the previous units place. Now 6 plus 3 is how much? It's a 1229. So here when you are adding two three digit numbers, we got a four digit number. I'll give you some examples. Go through the examples which are like a little difficult than this. Practice it. If there is any doubt, you can post in the comment section. Here we have three more examples. So some of these uh, two three digit numbers of all the examples 4, 5 and 6 you will get a 4 uh, digit number. So little difficult than what you learned like a third example what I explained. So if you add these examples and check whether you are getting and cross check with the general answer whether you are getting the same answer or not. Definitely you will get the same answer and when you will practice number of examples it is easy for you in calculation. Now it is these are the basics. So uh, most of you are calling and asking or messaging me uh, to send the tricks. Okay, definitely in next videos, I will send the tricks for addition. In next uh, video, I will explain how to add large numbers. After that, I will go for the trick, trick for additions. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.